Okay, we're live. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Highland Park Planning Board, April 14th, 2022 meeting. This meeting is called to order. Annual notice of this meeting was provided to the Star Ledger, Home News Tribune, and Highland Park Planet on January 29th, 2022. In addition, notice of this meeting via Zoom was faxed to the Home News Tribune and emailed to the Star Ledger and the Highland Park Planet on April 12th, 2022, and posted on the borough website at www.hpborough.com and on the bulletin board at Borough Hall 221 South Fifth Avenue, Highland Park, New Jersey on April 12th, 2022, and has remained continuously posted as required by law. Jen, can we do roll call? Ms. Hand? Present. Mr. Brusher? Here. Mr. Chin? Here. Ms. Hadhazi? Mr. Hale? Here. Mr. Linares? Mr. Malay? Mr. Perlman? Mr. Stern Cardinal? Here. Mr. Williams? Here. Mr. Thomas? President. Mr. Constantine and Mr. Koch. Sorry, I'm late and I said I wasn't going to make it, but I made it. So I'm here. Well, we're, we're glad to see you. So, uh, Jen, if we could amend the roll call to show Sorry. Jeff has joined us before we got to the end of it, although out of alphabetical order. So I didn't make it. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Right. Sorry, um, Jennifer. That's okay. I apologize. I think we should have done roll call first, but. Whatever, there we go. All right, three items of business today. We're gonna be reviewing two sets of meeting minutes and putting through the language memorializing a resolution on the consistency review for the amendment to the cannabis ordinance. So let's start with the first of the meeting minutes. We had our meeting minutes for December 5th, 2021, which was a regular meeting. Uh, copies of draft copies of those meeting minutes were sent around to the board for review and comments. Does anyone have any changes or, or notations for the minutes? Okay, seeing none. On December um, 9th. Oh, there we go. Okay, yes. Um, Up there. On page three, it, it's actually it's December 9th. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt mm -hmm. that one, but the uh, the agenda does say December 5th. It's actually December 9th, or at least that's ah. it. <laughs> Error <laughs> noted. <laughs> uh, at the end of page three, yeah. for a very long paragraph, where it says uh, board secretary, it really should be board clerk. Jennifer would handle transferring something or she'd be the one who'd make the changes. Good point, because otherwise the notes would be sent to you. <laughs> and then nothing would happen. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Anything else? Okay. So I'll, I'll solicit a motion to accept the December 9th, 2021 meeting minutes subject to the Amendment on page three noted by Alan Williams. Anyone? So moved. Uh, moved by Matt Hale. Second. Oh, second by Alan Williams. Is this a roll call or a voice vote? Voice vote is perfectly acceptable. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any abstentions? Uh, that's uh, yes. Alvin and Daniel. Okay. All right, good. Oh, anyone opposed? All right, motion carries. We'll move on to the January 13th, 2022 annual reorganization meeting and regular meeting, which were held on the same evening. And we've combined the minutes for them for efficiency, I assume. Did anyone have any notes or comments about those? Um, yes, on roll yes. call. Uh, leader is spelled wrong. As is uh, Consenza. Which which uh, which roll call? Oh, the, the first one. Oh, the first. Okay, got it. Where's the Consenza that's spelled wrong? Oh, there it is. 
So that's under the board professional section. Got it. So, oh, so collegiate spelled wrong in a couple of places. Yeah, I'll have her go through and fix that. Okay. Anyone else? Or anything else I should say? <coughs> All right. Then uh, I'll hear a, a motion to accept the January 13th, 2022 meeting minutes subject to the corrections to the name spellings that have been noted. Move to accept them. Motion by Alvin, Alvin Chin. Yes. Oh, uh, sorry, who's the second on that? Second. Second in by Dan, Dan Stern Cardinal. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone abstaining? Anyone opposed? Motion carries. All right. Last topic on our list is the resolution P2022-02 consistency review for the amendment to the cannabis ordinance to memorialize the actions we took on our March 10th, 2022 board meeting. Again, uh, copies of the uh, resolution were distributed to members of the board. Does anyone have any comments about them before we, we vote on it? No? All right, I'll accept a motion to, what would the motion be Roger, to approve the Resolution? To memorial, yeah, to accept the resolution of memorialization. All right. Motion to accept the resolution. All right, that's Moved by Dan Stern Cardinal. Second. Okay. Seconded by Alan Williams. Is this one a voice vote too, or this one's a no, vote? No, it's a roll call. Jen, yes. a roll call, please. Mr. Brescher? Yes. Mr. Chin? Yes. Mr. Hale? Yes. Mr. Perlman? Yes. Mr. Stern Cardinal? Yes. Mr. Williams? Yes. Ms. Hand? Yes. All right, those are all the items on our agenda. Uh, well, I, I should say we, we've had some updates I've heard on the 238 Cleveland project. I know that Scott and Bruce went out there. We've had some ongoing issues with their environmental contamination. Do we have any updates, reports, and how they're doing with that? Um, I went out there with Bruce. Uh, we spoke to Chris about some of the plantings behind the, the 238 house and a little grading on the left-hand side of the house. Um, I spoke to Ryan and his father, um, and Chris has been in contact with them, and they're going to be doing some plantings and leveling some stuff off over there. Um, they brought in plans for the next house, um, I sent those over to Chris. Chris is looking them over and my office is looking them over too. Great. Okay. And I know we, we got a new tree removal plan for Buckwoods. I don't know if that's going to be part of our business moving forward, but it was interesting to see all the trees that are going to be disappearing. Virtually all of them. Almost all of them, except for the walking path area. But, you know, that's what you get when you're putting a big building on a big plot of land. So there we go. All right, last item not on the agenda uh, involves an email we received from the public. There was a request to read some emails into the record. However, members of the public, as far as I know, did not um, plan to be here this evening. Um, uh, as far as I'm aware, we cannot accept input, private input, unsworn to testimony and input from members of the public unless they come and swear and affirm to what they have to say to us. So unfortunately, we cannot read written submissions into the record. It, you know, this process is about access, it's about transparency and private unsworn communications. While I appreciate she wants it read into the record is not sufficient for um, completion of this process. Um, I, I hope that this member of the public joins us in the future so she can be heard and have what she wants to say uh, expressed to us and responded to it where appropriate. Uh, but unfortunately, reading it into the record is, is not a procedurally proper way to handle such submissions. So, Roger, do you have anything? No, I, I agree with you. I, I think that, um, you know, it's a situation where even though this is not a, uh, an application for development, it is a piece of correspondence. And I do think it's appropriate for that individual to be present, to be able to give testimony so that 
uh, uh, member, other members of the public can uh, hear it and listen to it and ask questions of that person, as well as members of the board can ask questions. Uh, the fact of the matter is that you can't ask questions of a piece of paper. So uh, whether or not that individual needed to be sworn in that particular case, I'm not so sure, but the point that you make is absolutely <clears throat> valid. Uh, the fact is that you know you can't really cross-examine or, or discuss or ask questions of a piece of paper, and unless and until we have an individual present, I think it's appropriate that the board not accept and read into the record just simple correspondence. Uh, I think that would present a myriad of problems for this board. Do you Alan? mention what the subject is? I'm sorry, Alan? Do you mention what the subject is? Uh, I'll be happy to discuss it with you off the record. I'll, okay. I'll be happy to call you about it if you need to. Uh, that won't be necessary. All right. I, I'm sure I actually have a lot of faith that this member of the public will likely join us when she, this person has time to join us and express um, what's in her writings. And I hope she does because of course I'm trying to remain ungendered and it flipped out anyway. Uh, but I, I, I do hope because it is an important part of this process and we do need to hear from members of the public about what they have to say. So I do hope this person joins us in the future and we can discuss it at that time. Jen, do we have any members of the public wishing to be heard this evening? No public. Okay, so I, I will both open and uh, close the public comment portion of the meeting, seeing that no members of the public are present wishing to be heard. Uh, does anyone have any final comments or questions they want to bring up tonight? Alan? Uh, the Environmental Commission had some requested a whole lot of reports on the, env the environment of the Buckwood site. Uh, they did provide 2,000 and so pages of, of reports, which we will go through and have a look at. Double space or single space? Enjoy. <laughs> Uh, I don't know that that's the right word, but uh, go for it. <laughs> the right word is God bless you. <laughs> you yeah, go. yeah, that's true. That is true. We do rely heavily on the Environmental Commission's review to help guide us, and it's appreciated. So, okay, thank you, Jeff. Yeah, just a quick question. Um, really just kind of curious to, I mean, I've seen a lot of emails on Gabriella Estates, um, Buckwoods, uh, you know, the, the tree plan, uh, a whole bunch of memos. And um, I'm not sure when, when does the planning board actually get the site plan? Um, and the reason why I say is I'm, it's hard for me to review memos or I know they're coming in. I'm going to try to go back to them when I get the site, the site plan, but it's hard to, I see other commissions are, advisory commissions are getting the plans and I just don't know in the process when do we get them and you know just because at first I thought I lost them because I was like wow there's memos coming through I must have lost the plans but they're big plans so how can I've lost it but then I realized I know they haven't come to me yet. so I, I'm just kind of curious as to you know when and, and whether or not it is, is that part of our body yeah, check our bylaws I'm just curious well, I what is complete. I can, I can, I'm sorry go ahead Alan did you have something but typically, the planning board gets uh, the, uh, the the whole whole plan when when it's been defined as complete by the planner. Uh, right. That, that's what I was right. going to say. Right. That's very succinct. That's exactly right. And there's some discussion going back and forth uh, between uh, uh, LRK and and the developer as to that as to those issues. So, and and I and I do know that they are asking for some additional materials. So rather than giving things that are, right. and one of the big problems that I think board members have, and I think members of the public have, is that you, you get preliminary information and then uh, things change uh, before they even get complete. And then you've got more paper. And unfortunately, and I don't mean this facetiously, you get more trees knocked down uh, because of all the paper that we end up using. So it's probably a better approach to just simply wait until it's deemed complete. Um, then there'll probably be more paper anyway, but at least we don't have to do it preliminarily. So it's it's not an attempt to keep you in the dark. It's just a matter of no. It's, yeah, that's fine. I was just curious because I did you know I want to you know and maybe a, we had a Google Docs to go back to those all those memos in one place so I could find them. I lose you know it's like I go back to my emails and find when that you know no, those memos were sent around. We didn't so. lose anything. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. And I noticed that uh, Kalidra is present. 
or connect. Yes, or or attempting to connect or in, attempting although who knows yeah. what the storm is doing to to connectivity issues. Are you guys having a problem down there? We had it earlier. We had a thunderstorm a short time mm -hmm. ago. Lots of lightning in the sky this evening. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess the question becomes, Madam Chair, do you want to wait a minute or two to get her in before you ask for a motion to adjourn? <laughs> I do feel a bit bad because I can see her right there. But at know, the same I time, I, I, let me say this. Does anyone else have any further comments that they'd like to bring up? No? All right. Well, as as much as I would uh, enjoy having Khalidra join us, I'm not going to draw this out unnecessarily. And I will, in fact, ask if anyone would like to make a motion to adjourn this evening. Motion, motion to adjourn. adjourn. Motion by Alan, second by Jeff Perlman. Mm. All in favor? Aye. 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 If you oppose, you can right, stick guys, around. But I have consider good, that have motion passed. the evening. Take care. <laughs> yes, and happy so holidays happy, to anyone who's celebrating. Happy holidays, everybody. That's exactly right. Holidays to everybody. Good night, everyone. Take care. Good night. Good night.